beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're talking about some new products from Revlon this is the skin lights line it actually contains three different products there is a liquid illuminator that I don't have my hands on there are also powder bronzer and highlighters these are called the prismatic bronzer and prismatic highlighter each one of these products comes in three different shades I just have one of each here but these are currently available you can find them at both Ulta and Amazon I'll look around and see if any of the other drugstore type stores have these available online these are retail priced at $11.99 US dollars that is just really pretty pricey for a drugstore product. And I will admit these do have that luxury look since they have this really pretty printing, but still, man, $11.99. I really would have liked to see more of a $9.99 price point on these, which is still up there as far as drugstore powders go, but I'm not in charge. So these are priced at $11.99 each. Let's start with the Prismatic Bronzer. I have the shade 110 Sunlit Glow. This is the lightest of the three shades. This has a heavy duty plastic packaging. It does have a locking clasp closure. As usual, little shade name sticker on the back. And then when we open it up, there's a clear lid, so no mirror or anything in here. We do have this really gorgeous printed design. As you can see, I've been using mine and swatching it. I do find that this design is pretty sturdy. It can hold up to a lot of use. I always like that, keeping my printed powders pretty for as long as possible. And the Prismatic bronzers have nine grams of product. Now let's take a look at the Prismatic highlighter. I have the shade 202 Twilight Gleam. This is the middle shade. Although from pictures, it's they look all pretty similar. They don't have them swatched on models. I don't really like that. I really prefer to see some model swatches. At the very least, I like to see two different skin tones, but I really prefer it when there are three, just so you can get a feel for what the shades really look like on actual human beings. Again, the shade is labeled here. Exact same style of packaging, but we have a different print here. This kind of reminds me of like a dragon. Where the bronzer reminded me of sand dunes, this sort of gives me dragon vibes, hippogriff vibes. And this one is getting messed up a lot more easily, but it is what it is. I mean, that's the price we pay for <laughs> using our powders, right? The prismatic highlighters have eight grams of product. So one gram lighter than the bronzers. Now I wanna show you both of these powders swatched onto my arm. You'll see Sunlit Glow, the bronzer, and Twilight Gleam, the highlighter. This is just a little finger swatch on the arm. But the real fun part is the demo. I'm gonna show you these powders in action on my face. And then after that, we'll do a whole bunch of swatch comparisons.
now that you've seen these products actually demoed on my face, let's take a look at some comparisons for both the bronzer and the highlighter. I really wanted to show you a wide variety from drugstore to really high-end products that I felt not only would be a relevant comparison, but also really recognizable products for most of you. So let's take a look at those comparisons now. I was really surprised by some of these comparisons. I expected that the Prismatic Bronzer would be the most similar to the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, just because they're both from the drugstore. They're both a little bit higher price point items at the drugstore. And just the way that they look in the pan, I thought that those two would be the most similar. But I think that not only in swatch, but even in texture, this Prismatic Bronzer was most similar to the NARS Laguna bronzer. Really surprised by that, very, very pleased. I'm not gonna say that this is an exact dupe for Laguna, but I would say that it's a pretty good stand-in. So while I wouldn't say they're dupes, I would say they're similar enough that you could use this in place of Laguna and get a very similar look on the skin. Let's just put it that way. As far as the Prismatic highlighter goes, I had a harder time getting both shade and texture match. I felt like this particular shade, Twilight Gleam, was most similar to the ColourPop Super Shock highlighter in the shade Wisp, but the texture felt more similar to the Baked Gelato highlighters from Laura Geller. When we're taking a drugstore product and its texture and application is most similar to these really high-end powders, I feel like that's saying a lot. I still think that $11.99 is a little bit too high for a drugstore Revlon product, but you know, inflation is real. And these are pretty darn good. I will say that the wear on these has been really nice. I haven't been wearing these for a full day yet, but I have been filming other videos and doing other not fun administrative YouTuber tasks today. I've been wearing this makeup on my face for about five hours and I think that it still looks really, really good. I didn't put on any blush or anything. I just wore the bronzer and the highlighter and particularly the highlighter looks really great. I feel like my bronzer might be wearing off just a little bit on this side, but honestly, it looks really good. I mean, in person, I think it even looks better than it does on camera. Why don't we zoom in? If we're gonna talk about it, let's just zoom in. I just wanted to give you a close-up look here. This isn't really a great all-day wear test or anything, 
but at least you can see a couple hours and the highlighter looks beautiful. The bronzer looks pretty good too, I mean honestly. I thought it looked like it was wearing off a little bit, but once you get up close it actually it's definitely there. All in all, I'm very impressed by these Revlon Skin Lights products. I expected them to be more pretty, more showy, and not actually performing this well, but I do think that these are, you know, comparable to really high-end products, so I'm surprised, but impressed. Pleasantly surprised. I think that's what they call that. Now's the time when I want to hear what you guys think about these products. Were these even on your radar? Are you interested in these? Did you find those comparison swatches helpful? I always love to hear what you guys think about things too, so leave all your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! What are you? Bronzer and highlighter. A true professional. Ooh, all right, I'm fine. What was I saying? Oh, okay. Doing great. I felt like this particular shade, Twilight Get. what was that even? Laura Geller, Laura Lala. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, now that the video is over, do you just want to go overboard and add some more glow? Because I kind of want to. This is way more gold than it looks online. I mean, okay, Revlon. I do like the highlighter more than the bronzer. But I feel like I always like highlighters more than bronzers, so what's new? These are good though. Not going to replace my hourglass, but not shabby. Mm -hmm. I wore my hair half up, half down in a different video and so many people were like, I love your hair like that. But it is really annoying, especially with big earrings because then my hair gets like stuck in my earrings and I think I need a haircut again too. This hair is long and I need to get it re-dyed. This is just air dried hair. Look at those curls. My hair looks so much shorter if I just air dry it because it's so curly. Why am I recording this right now? I should just go. Okay. Bye. <laughs>